<laughs> What's up, everybody? You are on opinionated, and you already know what that means, Moss. There will be. Is it the 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 g gnashing of teeth? The G silent, ne? I don't know what. When the teeth are going, you don't know Bible, ne? You don't know your Bible, ne? I don't. Yes. When the Bible says, "Udova now shenga nyama no," there will be gnashing of, of teeth. Oh. But the gnashing starts with a G, so the G is silent. Okay. All right. You don't know your Bible. I don't. Yes. Okay. So when the Lord comes back and it is revelation, and the rapture takes place, there will be gnashing of teeth. Udova now shenga nyama no. Okay. Anyway, welcome to Optin hey. Opinionated. Okay. Yes, you have tuned into Opinionated with Madam Speaker and friends. Obviously, we are not going to agree. Like everybody is welcome to come with their opinion. Guys, I just want to say this, ne, before we even start to say uh, sometimes it's not even personal. It's a good thing that we are able to hear people sharing their different opinions because clearly in every video that we post, there are going to be people who have different opinions and to God be the glory because now we are able to even bring the voices of different opinions together in one room and we speak. Today I want us to talk about um, being love scammed, Bazalwan. Like we as women, hey, I shame. I, I don't know what is wrong with us. You know, we are being love scammed, but also the reason why we are here is because of two reasons. Number one, We've had a podcast episode here on our sister podcast, the Safe Space Chats podcast, where we had a lady uh, by the name of Tulufel who was speaking about how she was love scammed on Facebook. And we've also had another um, guest also that we're still going to air her episode in the future. But also on top of that, we have a story that has been trending on the socials where a lady was saying that she gifted her boyfriend with a car. And after gifting a boyfriend with a car, the boyfriend went ahead and gave that car up to his wife on their wedding day. Um, I used to think it's a it's not a true story, especially after the people that were being accused of being the couple actually came forward and said, no, 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 that's not us. I thought it was not a real thing until the actual victim came forward. But I want us to talk about that, you know, to say, I've been defending our guest with my bum. You know, I'll defend my guest with my bum, you know, because I feel like, you're making it difficult for people to actually come forward and share their story when, as and when these type of things happen to them. And a lot of people actually came forward after her to say, listen, we've also faced similar things, but that is not stopping people from judging her. Because in the comment section, like 90% people are just like, oh, girl. So I have Lerato, of course. And Lerato, what is your take on women just being scammed, whether it's a car, for buying a car for a guy, mm -hmm loan and the works i just want to hear the conversations that are being had in this pillow talk when they're agreeing to such things what leads up to it what's the build up to it and can we just make a study guide for other people so that they stay away from this but my sister um sometimes these pillow talks are not even pillow talks because they are being scammed without being in the same room with this person laying down with them mm. Yes, so there are probably in some instances there are not even pillow talks involved. So what's even persuading you to even get to that point because you have not even consummated the relationship or whatever it is that you are having with that person? We can't even say, oh, it's maybe the sex that's driving you to be like that and your mind is not operating normally. Or is it some voodoo? I am not blaming the victims at all. I'm just saying let's be street smart. Are you saying that the people who have been scammed, who have shared their stories of being scammed, are not street smart? They are street negligent. They did, ah, they, 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 God they, forbid. They know the knowledge, but they decided not to use it. We know women are scammed all over. Aye, my sister, but that one is a reckless statement. Okay, I retract. No, you don't have to retract. You okay. can stick by your guns. I know I'm sticking to my guns. I still believe that. And also raise your voice, my sister. It's, it's not like people oh, can I'm see I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. I strongly believe that um, this can be avoided. Mm -hmm. People are entering into loans, large amount of loans, not just uh, 20,000, 30,000. We're talking above 80,000 rand. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
But my sister, do you do you even have a heart? When do you know how it's like to love someone and to really feel for them when they are going through stuff so much? Or do you feel is your love limited too? My love is limited too, and especially when it regards finances, because this it especially when it regards something that's gonna impact you when someone has left. Mara, my sister, who said they are gonna leave? Because I think when we take these loans for these men, we don't think they're going to leave. We're thinking we're going to be together forever. Okay, we are in the 21st century and we all should know that when you enter into a relationship, the other, part, the other party in the relationship has the right to leave at any given point. Mm-hmm. And we believe uh, the power of tongue. Mm-hmm. And as we believe in the power of tongue, mm-hmm. we cannot confess such negativity upon our lives. No. So that's why even when we get into relationships, we just say, thank you, Lord. This is the man that you have given me and nothing, no negativity, no bitter divorcee. No, it's not about negativity. This is reality. Anyone has the right to conduct the, how they conduct their life, their relationships. If they want to go in and out as they please, your, what you have in control is if whether you allow it or not. But my sister, if you check um, when it comes to the story of Tolufela, that's why I, I was even asking you, Ori, uh, do you not have a heart now or does your heart have limits? You know, Not that I have limits, but this has happened all so much. It feels like we are in repeat. But for me, ne, story of Tolufela, it was new to me. Mm-hmm. The story that I had today mm-hmm. of somebody being robbed via voodoo and ancestors and whatever, mm-hmm. it's new to me. Really? Yes, like I've never... That's why I was shocked the whole time because I've never been in a position where it's it's the first time I'm hearing about it. Hmm? So so when are you mean to tell me where we are now? in your tender age mm. you have experience or you know about these things? How how did you get the education? You get education in small magnitudes and then once other people start speaking on it in big magnitude you start realizing more that small thing that I've seen now it has many it has grown to this big thing. <sighs> For example, okay, let me not say, it. say for example. <laughs> no, let me not say. It. Continue. Mm. Lerato, mm. they say love is blind, mm. ne? and I believe that if love is blind, mm. whatever you do in a relationship mm. is foolish. Mm. Love makes you do stupid things because mm. it's blind. Mm. If you never find yourself in a situation where in mm you are being used by the other party, then it's mm. no longer love because love mm. is blind. You walk in there blindly so because it's matters of the heart. We feel you are in love. And if I meet a man today and I'm in love and I can see this one, it's my type. We are typing you together. You know things I, I, that can be excused. It's, just, it's things that people can't live without. You understand? If a, a guy says, oh, you know, please help me with groceries, those small anyana things that that person cannot live without. There's no groceries. You can help or understand but with large amounts of monies yeah mara i get it the, look, looking at the bigger picture to say obviously if when i come to you right now and i say please give me large amounts of money you would never do that but if you look at these people's stories ne, and and learn about how they got to be scammed that mm. those large amounts of money mm. it didn't just start like that it starts with um the guy has got plenty so what he's asking of you is nothing compared to what he actually has. Mm. So if right now you have got a thousand rands mm. in your account mm. and uh, you you ask for 50 rand from me, that's mm. not a large amount of money. Mm. That's nothing, you know. Mm. As, when I check the fact that you actually have a thousand rand, you can't afford to pay me back. Mm. So if you make me, if you sell me the dream, Yahori, when you have a thousand rand in your account, mm. when you are borrowing 50 rand from me, is it mm. borrowing or lending? They'll come for me, I know. Mm. I know that you are you are you are capable of paying it back. Mm. So even if I don't have, even if I have like a hundred rand, mm. I can still give you fifty rand because I know that with what you have in your account or mm. what you are capable of actually being able to get, mm. you can get me the 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 the, the, the fifty rand back. Mm. So it's not a matter of people being scammed because large amounts of money just like that. There are things that come to play before somebody can give away that money like that. That's mm. simple. Mm. Why are you looking at me in a judgmental way like that? Because I'm judging you. You know, Ndibu the other day said to me, uh, that's when I realized what I know is a scam. Mm. This love is blind thing. Is it, it requires you to be stupid. Ne? I'm she, glad she you a, have come nah, to realize Mara, the, the being stupid part, ne, I feel like it's not fair that mm. we should associate that with 
you being street smart, mm. my sister, mm. you know, if somebody mm. come, can come here and throw themselves down on the floor and mm. they cry because, mm. you know, okay, you know me. Mm. Okay, good. Let's give, let's give a good example. Mm. Lerato, you mm. know me. Mm. You know that uh, right now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, a young nyana 1K, mm. you've known me long enough to know that a young nyana 1K, if mm. you are in real trouble because mm. you never ask me for money. Mm. If you ask me for a 1K now, mm. And it's urgent, and you are going through whatever. Mm. I won't even. I won't even ask you twice. Okay, you would be sending me that money because you are okay with losing it. Okay. Mm-mm. So people must put themselves. They must. You know, there's the three W's: what, how, where, why, whatever. Before going into large transactions, ask yourself those things. If ever I was a, this person was not to pay, how would that affect me? This this should be part of your decision making, whether you give this person this money or not, right? But, uh, finances, ne, are also emotional decisions that we take. It, I are think you, people should start disassociating themselves emotionally to their finances. When you're not talking, you've got categories in your heart, ne. Mm-hmm. It's like you've got compartments. Mm-hmm. You're not a real human being, especially when it comes to money. Ha, Jesus! I w- it, it's humanly. Okay, no, I can't say humanly impossible because people have done it. I can't really say that. But think of how this would impact me if this person did not pay the money. Does this, how would it, how Mara it, would it wait, set me my back? Sister, wait, Akari, if we are looking into us building together. Yes, I have yes. a friend of mine. She was breeding a man in her house. Mm. There she is. <laughs> she was breeding a man in her house. Mm. So, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes when you are staying with somebody mm. and they are going through whatever, or you're in a relationship with them. Mm. Remember some of us, like I said, ne? Mm. we're not looking at the relationship coming to an end. Mm. Meaning that even when I give you, I'm not even thinking about you paying back because your money is my money. Mm. Or in the future, your money is going to be my money. Mm. So if In I'm, the future. So if it's I'm not helping, the future now. It's the now. We are living in now, in the future. It's not the future now. Mara, I guess we are building towards the future. So you must build with a large amount of money and start okay, now. How much is the large amount of money for you, my sister? Okay. No, no, no. I think I think Lerato has not been following the episodes. Okay. Because one, when these people scam you, they don't just wake up and, and find a random lady walking on the street and they scam you. Mm. They have done research on you. They know that you are a widow or you are recently divorced, you are vulnerable, you know, all of those things. So they know they are victims. You know, they don't just, they will not go for you. Mm. when already you are street mad, they see that you don't have time for them. Mm. They've, they've done research on you. Mm. And two, it is not people that are just dating that get scammed. Mm-hmm. Married couples mm. scam each other. Mm-hmm. You know, if you are refusing to work and I must take care of all the bills, that's you scamming me. Okay. You know, you are that form of but that you are form, not working for that That form life. of scamming like in like married couples and the relationship and so forth. I think that's something you can digest and understandable because if I'm playing, paying for the house, I'm in the house as well. Okay. Right? Okay. If I'm buying groceries, I'm consuming the groceries as well. Okay. Okay. So w- w- things you should be careful and tiptoeing around is things that don't benefit you as well directly now. Mara, Mara, are you hearing yourself, my sister? Because what you are saying, ne? Somehow, somehow, ngati ama lines are cross, you are contradicting. Okay. You are doing what the YouTuber say I do. Okay. Because a man can marry you. Yes. For your pension fund, for your business money. Okay. Knowing very well that he's going to check out after a year or two years. Yes. And during that time, when he's busy trying to get you in your feelings, in your emotions and mm. all that stuff, mm. you wouldn't be suspecting because maybe he's even scammed other people to come and give money to you for you to believe that this man is a provider when he knows that you're actually the big prize. And but, getting married in COP is a big risk in this day and age. Oh, okay. So, so Lerato... <laughs> getting Lerato. married in community of property is a risk. You must look at the pros and the cons. If ever... That's why I'm saying, Hore... What the decision you make surrounding money, you should sit down and think if this backfires, how would it impact me? Nice black people will never even do those things. Where did you grow up? 
In Johans, Johansburg. You grew up in Johansburg? Mm. Hi, when you are street smart, you are too much. As a person, you need to know, even if a friend, a mere friend comes to you and say, um, I need 200 rand for electricity. You know, I have money that's going to provide for me only. I myself can need that electricity next week. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any funds coming in. If ever my friend does not return this money, it's going to impact me. So you're going to tell the friend, I'm unable to do now because I myself am living within my means. Mm -hmm. Mm. Can I ask you something? Have you ever lost um, people because you couldn't help them financially? Yes. And you are willing? I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm definitely okay with that. Okay. Would it be fair to say that you love money more than you love people? I, I feel like I value my mental health and my mental peace more than uh, allowing others to uh, impact me negatively to that extent. Because I feel like you are not, you're not living here where we are. Oh, because sure. these people, <laughs> ne? Yes. Like, like what the other lady just said now, yes. they don't just come and say, I want money. Mm. They build a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. They get to know you. Mm -hmm. They know your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And every, they even mm -hmm. know how much you have. Because mm -hmm. I care you guys now, you have a relationship. Mm -hmm. Just because you know how much the next person has does not mean you have the right to that person's money. It's not the right. I care these people are coming to you to scam you. Mm -hmm. So they study you yes. very, very well. Mm. They know which button to press. Mm. Maybe you have never been in love. I don't know. Mm. To a point when you wouldn't know that Mm -mm, I'll do anything for this person. I mean, the only love scam I've experienced is cell phone contract in its small <laughs> magnitude. And I was telling you, so start small, then you can experience the negativity. Then you're like, eh, hey, eh, isn't it that now, it, maybe because they scammed you of that contract because that's what you could afford? Yes. So a person that can afford No, millions. I could afford more. I could mm -hmm. afford more. Even the cell phone that I took, I took a cheap one. Mm. Mm. Because I knew if I was to pay this 250 every month, it won't kill me. Rather than taking something at 700 or one point something. So it means that when I, every time, even if you, I don't know if you are married or not, if you have a husband, mm. you're always calculating that mm -mm, if he asks for 10,000 rand, this one might be scamming me. So it's always no, a I'm not in your saying, mind. I'm not calculating that he might be scamming me. I'm calculating, worry, can I afford to lose this money? But this is your husband. You are one. Can I afford to lose the money? How your money is after man. losing that money? How will it impact me mentally? I will have manje anxiety, not sleeping for days, not paying my bills, not doing that because on short is I got ten thousand here. You know what I think, Liratone? I think you know, I even lost my trail of thoughts. Kana, what were you saying? Or you must understand if you can afford to lose that money. Okay. You know what I think, ne? Mm. I think the issue here is that majority of us, mm. uh, we go in there not knowing mm. that mental well-being can also be affected by finances, money, right? Mm. So maybe because majority of us we never had that experience before, because even with like the example with our previous guest, mm. after she was scammed, mm. she then did what? She she went and got admitted into a psychiatric ward, mm. right? Mm. So majority of us, we think money is just money. We don't know mm. that money is also on its own a stress that can actually send you to a psych ward, just like any other stress. And the only thing that can send me to a psych ward is money. What what about it? If I'm if maybe I, I'm, you don't know how to calculate it. If I'm not generating it the way I should, if. Um, it's not coming in the way it should based on my needs. Mara I want to know, Rwena, how do you know? Why are you safeguarding your mental well-being? How did you get to a point where you literally have to safeguard your well-being even with your mental well-being? I was well -being? raised by other women that experienced this. Oh, you see, you have, you have, you have, you have got a home ground advantage. I have a cheat code of Mara, a home Mara, ground Mara, advantage. Mara, you see what is not fair with you, ne? Mm. Lerato, is, is that... Because of your experiences mm. and the luxury of being exposed to such things, mm. that means you learn from other people around you. And it's not merely because I was raised by people that really experienced this. I was raised by people that avoided it at yeah, all costs. That too. So I was raised in an all-female household. No. And, we were, and uh, grandmother, granny, sister, aunt, 
We are all wary of men and stayed away from men. They they will not be. My they stayed away exactly from Exactly my men. point. Yeah. Exactly my point. Mm. You had the luxury of growing up in a household where you see men and you are careful. Mm. You open your eyes. A- any man Some I of see, us, you oh, just hey, raise. Let me pay, let me pay, let me pay. Mm. Some of us, we were raised by men who are genuine men. Mm. Men who were reliable. Men who provided. Mm. Literally mm. until today. Mm. So meaning that my exposure to men then limits me to thinking like you. Meaning mm. that when I go out there, my expectation is that every man is like my father. Mm. So meaning that I become gullible now. Mm. And because I'm not exposed to what you were exposed to, mm. I get, I, I trust men more than mm. you trust men. So, but then with, after experiencing that, oh, by the way, I'm experiencing that other side that Lerato has experienced that I've never experienced. Mm. You as Lerato, because you had the luxury of growing up in a home where there were women who were street smart because of their own, their own marks taught them to be that streetwise or they learn from other people. I feel like you are being too judgmental to people that have never been exposed to such like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I, I it's coming from a point of experience, my my statements that I'm saying. But I, I, I grew up in a place where I saw a lifestyle change based on uh, the other party choosing to leave a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I was the child in that relationship. So I saw the lifestyle change and I was like, I'll never su- subject myself to anything like that. Maybe that's why. No, that, that for me, as you are saying it like that, it gives it away, your, your biasness. Mm. It comes from the fact that you, you mm. had the luxury of having the experience. Okay. Yes. And, and I think you are judging other people harshly. Mm. By thinking that it's because of stupidity, it's because of desperation. No, it's not stupidity. It's desperation. No. Is what? We need a study guide. Yeah, People but that's should just be... you saying it in a nice way. It's like you are saying it in a nice way that you are stupid. You understand? Mm-hmm. I want us to get to a point where we agree that your experience is a luxury. Mm-hmm. It does not qualify you to judge other people who don't have the same experience as okay, you. Okay, true. You know, meaning that no matter how much you were like, oh, Maraluena, where did you grow up? Why didn't you see these things growing up? No, we didn't grow up in the same place. Okay, I fold. Eh? I fold. What, that English means what? Uh, I'm giving into what you are saying. Uh, why are you washing your hands with, without water? Okay, I, let me give you an example. Ne? Mm-hmm. Maybe when... With this one, it, it has got nothing to do with love. Okay. You know, I was once scammed. Ne? Yes. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. I was once scammed. You the clever of them all. Listen. Okay. So, so with this person, he was a pastor, still mm. is. Sure. What, it, what happened, I was not going to his church, by the way. So we were into business together. We worked together for like a year, if not more. Wherein I would invest money and get it back every single month with a lot of interest. Mm. Right? It happened for like more than a year to a point where now I would, I would even get loans, give him the money and get it back. And he would even encourage me. Get the loans, get it back. One month, I decided to even go to all my friends and mm. family members. And I asked my husband to go get the loans. Like, with any bank that he could, he got the loan. That was the month that I did not get the return. Ha. But the point is, I had done that before. Mm. And I had gained a lot. Like, it was now, at, like, I knew that I, if I give 500K, mm. 800K is coming back month end. Mm. Um, then on that last month, this is after more than a year of working with this person, mm. investing money, he went AWOL. So this person was grooming you so that they could get the large amount. But this is what I'm saying, that sometimes it starts with small things. Like that's True. what the Bible says, that um, if God cannot trust you with small things, how will he trust you with yeah. bigger things? So he, I mean, I really trusted him with, with, small things. with small things. And it was even increasing because I started with just 1K. It got to 500K. It got to 800K, wherein I would make a million. You understand? And then the time that I literally gave everything, went to all my friends and I'm like, hey, I've been in this business for more than a year. This thing is working. Give me your money. I'm your guarantee. If it doesn't come back, I'm going to give you back. I convinced my husband. I convinced every single person in my life. And that was the last month. So in this one, you can't say, no, but you should have studied him. No, you Hey, it was working out. I was taking loans and getting money back and paying those loans again and pay, like it was working out. But the problem was the last month that I, I rounded everybody. It so didn't come the, back. The, so with this one, would you also say it's stupidity? No. I wouldn't say it's stupidity. The person groomed you into it. They got you used to their behavioral patterns. So this victim specifically, we understand her situation. I'm not... <laughs> 
<laughs> because that is what is happening also with the ones for love scams. Yeah. They get groomed. Yes. Like, baby, I'm here. Whatever oh. you want, I'm going to get it for you. They buy them so Gucci. The they buy scams, them LV. They are emotionally groomed so that they can financially give them money. Yes, because you're okay. like, this person can afford. Mm. They can afford. So there's no way that they're mm. scamming me because all these three months, mm. they were not asking me for money. It's just only this month that... Oh, their, their banks are frozen. I need to pop in. I, I'm just helping out my love who has been there for me. Maybe perhaps you even asked for bond installment in that three months and they paid. Or they even voluntarily said, no, this month, babe, don't pay for your car. I'll do it. So on that fourth month when they say, Esh, my bank is pr it's, my, mm. my account is frozen, you, you fall in because you're like, no, man, he's been there for me for the past four months. Why yeah, shouldn't I? I think you should watch movies like Swindler. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Lerato, yeah, I think we should watch movies like <laughs> Swindler because those ones they show you proper grooming. I uh, but we are learning from their experience. Proper financial that grooming. There have to be somebody that went through through it for us to then learn. Like the people that are coming to the Safe Space Chats podcast, right? They are coming to share their experience so that now we Lerato can sit there and say, "I never." Uh, so now I, I know. feel like okay. Uh, um, now that we it's out there and everybody is it's out there and, and um, laughing at you, Madam Speaker's podcast is a very big podcast, ne? It's got numbers on it, and I just hope people are sharing this a lot, so that this does not happen to our fellow sisters. That's why I study. I wish we could just make a study guide. This one, your study guide, I feel like you're so sarcastic. She is being sarcastic. and I'm not being sarcastic. I'm actually, I, I just feel like we could just sit each other down ne? and just say, what are you experiencing? This one, ah, eh, oh, mm -mm, no. Skamufa, skamufa, don't go that far. I wish we could do that. But isn't it people like you, then that would make these people not to come forward? Because, waba jaja. Like you're saying that, no, no ways. I can't lose this. I can't risk this. How are they going to come forward and then can have the study guide? Because the study guide has to come from them. The same way that now eh, your study guide came from all your those women. Women that raised Yeah. Because now we don't have, maybe now if somebody had come forward and said, hey, they'll groom you for the whole year. You mm. understand? I wouldn't have. But then it's stories like this that we need on the podcast so that we don't also fall on. Because these podcasts are not only for us. They're also for our children. My sister, tell me something. Mm. You've never judged anyone for making a stupid uh, in love decision <laughs> with your own judgmental muscle, even in your old life before you found Christ. Mm. Good question. Why are you coming? This is not about, <laughs> me. This is not about It's me. just a question. Okay, uh, I have. You mm -hmm. know, it's, it's, it's very easy to judge a person when you have never been in their shoes. Mm -hmm. It's just like with love. Like, how, how can you fall pregnant for this person mm -hmm. when you know that, you know? But I, I was thinking differently. I'm actually planning on making a baby with a guy who has got six <laughs> baby mamas. You see? I'm going to be the seventh. And yeah. we are going to judge you. Okay. But you're... you're, you're the way you are thinking, you are seeing it maybe as an investment that, oh, if I have the seventh one or the sixth it's, one. It's a love investment. You'll get more love. More money. Oh, more you money. See? Oh, okay. <laughs> you see now. <laughs> <laughs> but the ones that are going there for money, right? Mm. For putting it on the paper that I'm going for this and the, we can't really judge them. Mm -hmm. We judge the ones that are going there for love. Each guy. So, so you are saying love is, is what? It's dangerous. It love is hefar. Danger. Hey. Ngozi. My sister, what's your take? Because you once you once breeded a man in your house for years. Yes. And you were working for that man. <laughs> that man was by the way, the other ghost in it. That man would drive her car, drive take her to work and back and drop her to work and pick her up. She didn't even know how to drive her. She thought she was a passenger princess because she was a passenger in her own car, by the way. So my sister, what's your take with with love scam? This is like telling us, Jaja, Puma Lapo. Puma Lapo, I've judged myself. It's enough. You know, I'm awake now. I'm, mm. I'm sober. Hey, gents, when you come this side, I'm sober. Hey, mm. I'm very sober now. Hey. Um, so, 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 how do you feel when you see other people being love scammed when you love scam? It's also? painful. On, on a serious note, it, it's painful because as much as now you are away, you know, uh, honestly speaking, I don't think that guy ever loved me. Mm. He came knowing that he was coming here. He was coming here to work, you know. And, and you, you, really were the, you, were the, you were the office, my sister. Yes, my sister, I employed, eh? Ha! He found employment. Mm. And in him finding employment, he left me in so many places. So I, I totally get 
what the ladies have gone through. Mm. You know, you don't just wake up and and also he's not even the hottest guy. I can't even say I saw a six pack. Nothing. Yes. You know, but yeah, You know, mm. he, yeah, he, he's smooth with his tongue, mm. he, literally. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I hear you. Anyway, but I mean I'm the I'm the last person to judge anyone. I mean, guys, yeah, you saw me honestly, losing everything. They they work on you first. They condition you. You mm. you you get to think for them. You know, everything starts being they are a priority. Mm. You know, if he says he's hungry, and also remember, as he does this, he gives. So you you know because when he has, he really gives. Mm. So when he asks, it's not a problem. You know, it's just that when you gave him 150 rands, when he asks, he asks for 300 rands. So you've ah. paid that 150. The mind game. You know, so it really, really, they, they work on these ladies. I've been worked on. I thought I was smart, but hey, here I am sitting here and judging with, myself. With your, with, your, with your master's degree, cum laude, my sister, my you were worked sister. on by a guy with only metric. With only metric. Ha! Ha! So, Sendaka ba u njak chacha namva. My sister, hey. you, when you have never been scammed. Mina, mina. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see the video of me closing my gate there when I was leaving my, uh, my house? Mm. Ah, I mean, uh, guys, you know what? That's why I can never judge anyone. But mm. some of the stories, that obviously, they shock me. Like, some of them, I'm like, ah, my sister. But also, if you can check the smartest and the strongest women, we are the ones who actually crumble and fall. Because I feel like if you're not strong enough, they can't feed off of you for long enough. Therefore, you're not going to last, you know. But uh, I think, let's keep let's keep on educating each other about these scams. And obviously people like Lerato, they will always be there. Lerato, why are you looking at me like you are, you are nyanya? Yeah, like there's so many things going through my mind that I really want to ask you. Ask. And I've already said so much. People are going to say I talk too much. It's fine. This is opinionated podcast. Yeah. So she's allowed to, to be opinionated and disagree. Uti. And I also, before you even speak, I also feel like people should hate your opinion because they don't agree with it, but not you. Okay. So it's just your opinion that they don't agree okay. with. Mm -hmm. Um, what do we consider a scam also? And what categories do these scams fall under? Because as much as you are saying you you are being scammed, are we missing something in, in, in the story that you have told us about no, no, your no, no, life? No, no. Not mine mine honestly speaking, I would not call it a scam. Mm. Even the one yeah, 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 the other ghost lady, I it's would not, not a call scam. it a scam. Yeah. But if you look at the the, the the overall picture. Yes. A loss is a loss. Okay. So do you consider it, it's a loss, but do you consider it a loss that didn't benefit you or a loss that also benefited you because you also lived in the household, you were paying for a house that you lived in. Where is it now? The house that I lived in. That well, I it's paid not for. there. Where is it? Sold. It, it is a scam. It is a okay. scam. If, if someone is saying that pay for this because I'm still waiting for money. Mm so that we can both take care of the bills in this house. Mm. And the next thing, it's three years later. Mm. You know, this person wakes up, by the way, every morning and goes mm. to work for six months, but he mm. never gets paid. That's a scam. Mm. And this is your husband. And this is your, yeah. So if someone is, let's say, having an income, your partner is, well, in this instance, we're going to say male. Mm -hmm. Your male partner is having an income, but is not contributing to the household is a scam. But for me, I feel like you we can are try saying and he has money, but he doesn't want to use it. Yes. He did not have it. And he doesn't want, oh, he, he did not have it. He pretended as if he has it. Yes. That's a scam. He, he pretended. Lied to you. A scam. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, guys. I think I'm in between on this question that you have of mm. whether when somebody um, you've been staying with in the same house, you've been buying mm. the same food, whether it's a scam or not, you know, because it does kind of feel like a scam if somebody has been lying about making payments when they've not been making them. Like, for example, in my case, my tired story where I'd say that I'd get um, bank notifications that this person has not been paying for a car for the past three months when I've been covering other bills thinking that they're paying and they've not been paying. So, so you are alleviating the person so that they can see to the bills that they have to pay. No, no, no. The thing is, ne, um, in a, in a, I don't want to, okay, not only marriage. In a mm. relationship, it's like a long-term, mm. whatever, commitment. Mm. Uh, and in this day and age, mm. we have... I know that probably this is a foreign thing to you because when you've been raised by strong women. I, I don't know. But mm. we, we split bills, mm. right? 
And when we split bills, hey. it means that if one is paying for the house, one is paying for the car, one is paying for the municipality, one is paying for the groceries, one is paying for this, one is paying for that, right? So mm -hmm. if I'm paying my end of the deal mm -hmm. and you're not paying, mm -hmm. and I'm only getting shocked at the end of the year that you didn't pay because I'm not your mother, I'm not going to be micromanaging you. Yes, mm -hmm. I can try micromanaging you once or twice, but every single month, then mm -hmm. why are we even doing this to begin with, you know? So... The fact that I'm married to somebody who is even older than me and we are sitting and we are discussing this thing, the fact that they're not coming to check on me whether I'm paying my end or not, then it means that it doesn't even give me the right also to do the same thing to them. But when the year now comes to an end and I find out that we are owing the municipality 60,000 rands, that feels like a scam, even if I've been staying in that house because I've been doing my end of the deal. Okay, so and now... When this shock comes, now you are obliged to assist this person. I have children. I'm not assisting them. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to save my children from staying in the dark. Because it negatively impacts the household. Yes. The running of the household. Yes. And all they could say is they're sorry. Because even the scammers, right now, if somebody scams you money, they don't even know where they're going to get it. They're going to say so they're sorry. So have you ever thought to resorting, uh, 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 okay, yes, you, you are divorced now, but whilst you were in the marriage, have you ever thought, since I'm carrying most of the bills, I might as well just leave this one here. Leave what? Him there in the house. <coughs> that has no electricity, no nothing. Because the municipality would have cut it out. And go away. And start a new life in the corner. And leave him in whose house? I carry, uh, oh yeah, I can't but together. Oh. So I must leave him in my house and go away. Hmm. I think um, Lerato should interview you. Okay. Uh, with these questions. Because it's not going to end now. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think you guys should just have your own um, episode. No, what we should have the strong women that raise Lerato to come and sit here and give us tips. <laughs> hey, yeah. that would be nice. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you are too judgmental, my sister. Because when you had the luxury of being raised by strong women <laughs> who know how to not be dribbled by a man. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> you are not sorry, my sister. Don't say you are sorry when you are not sorry. I always say that when people force me to apologize when I'm not apologetic. Don't force me to apologize because I'm going to do it again. Lerato, you know that next week when we air the episode of somebody who was scammed, you are going to judge them. So don't even apologize. I will sit in my corner and judge them and not vocalize you judge it. Them. Judge them. Open. <laughs> I will not vocalize this is, What is the name of the podcast? Opinionated. And thanks. Yes. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a wrap. Peace out. <laughs>